If any of you have asked for some more information or another video on how an upper core player swing works, I have now measured 101 players. 60 of them were upper core and 15 more were upper middle core, or almost upper core players. So three-fourths pretty much are going to have upper core tendencies in the way they swing. So upper core players, we call them, we say they have slow hips. What that means is at impact, the hips are not very rotated. When we look at my video in a moment down the line, you're going to see my hips are not very rotated. My right foot's pretty much on the ground. Medium speed hips on tour is about 45 degrees rotated. So if you have less than 35 degrees of rotation and you're posture up and you come out of posture, there's a really good chance that you are an upper core player. So let's go over these things that I've written down up here. Number one, we're going to have a neutral to a weak grip. Why? Because we release the club early with the right arm. That's why my right elbow is behind my rib cage and my right arm is going to straighten just past impact. Probably about right there is where both arms are straight and this club is pointing right in the middle of them at the center of my chest. That's really your release point. Where does that happen? A low core player, the right arm may not straighten until parallel to the ground like Dustin Johnson. So I have an early release. That's number five here. The pivot. The pivot is around the front post. You're going to see that I'm staying. My left hip is staying pretty much where it was. I'm pivoting around my, my front leg. I'm also going to have that narrower stance and because my body isn't rotating that fast I'm going to get speed through my arms, hands, and wrists. My arms swing past my body and pull me around. Very important. And then lastly the speed comes from verticals and torque. So let's look at this from down the line. If you look at me down the line what the upper core player does, and this is something I learned this week, we are going to have the most right hip turn, and the right hip will start with the swing. Look at my hip turning. So we get that deeper hip turn, and we get our weight into the heel of the right foot. Scott Lynn with Swing Catalyst this past week said, every golfer gets their weight into the right heel and shifts it into the ball of the left foot. Everybody does it. So I'm going to get my hip speed from here to there when I hit it. See, I'm not very rotated. So it's the way I, I'm using my feet to torque the ground and jump. That's what upper core players do. So we don't need to be rotating past impact. So many people are trying to be more like I look there at impact, have more rotation. People wanted me to be more rotated at impact. If you look at my sister Lori, who's a... Mid-core player, look how she looks at impact. You're not going to look like that if you're an upper core player. See, there's Lori with about 45 degrees of hip rotation. So you really want to understand that you've got to get that right hip more turned on the backswing, and then they, that you will shift into the ball of that left foot. Lower body will rotate to impact, but we're not going to be that rotated at impact. The club will swing past us and pull us around to our finish. For more information, please contact me at LarryRinker.com or you can contact Dr. Wright at WrightBalance.com. We can measure you and figure out if you're an upper, mid, or lower core player and help you learn how to swing in the ways that are natural for you. Thanks.